Tina, the water's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. Peter, Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. Oh, my God. Somebody call 911! Damn it, Fox. That's not an invitation to ruin our moment to expand your media empire. <sighs> Son of Zorn. Ha! <laughs> now everyone knows the best way to get the Christmas spirit is to drink a whole lot of thick, frothy eggnog. So get going. I don't like eggnog. Drink the nog, Carter. I, I don't... I don't wanna. Take it, Carter. Take all the nog. <coughs> no! Yeah, you like that nog. Don't spit the nog out. Now look at the camera for a POV shot. Say thank you with the nog in your mouth. Thank you. Louder! Thank you! Good. Now go down to the hotel lobby and check out with Nog all over your face. All right. You know, I still don't like Christmas, but I kind of like what we just did. Hey, so what's your afternoon like? I don't have plans. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Ugh. This will not end well, like eating an artichoke. Good Lord! I ate nothing and I'm soaking wet for some reason. <laughs> We now return to Germany's favorite talk show, Das ist gut. Dad, what is this show? I don't know. It's just a German guy listing items and then declaring them good. Willkommen! Where are we? Das ist gut! Okay, sunsets. Das ist gut. Yeah. Sauerkraut. Das ist gut. Yeah. The Autobahn. Vroom vroom. Das ist gut. Yeah. Umpa music. Das ist gut. Yeah. Euthanasia for the mentally feeble. Das ist gut. Das ist gut is filmed before an audience of the mentally feeble. God, I wish I could get tickets to that show. You were laughing at Griffin's shoes. Why? What's wrong with them? I don't even know what those are. What's Teslik? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslik. That's all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. Stop make bing bong. Every bing bong, two cent. What you want? All uh, right, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion as Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it, play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right, I'm gonna check it for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? Today, we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat, Bootsy, out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon, and we're here to honor him. Welcome to Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes. This is quite a country, Brian. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. Oh no, it's that Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son. He was harsh, but not untruthful. 
We got a special order Cleveland Junior's pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. And this is Peter and I at our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter. What the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Oh, jeez, how the hell am I going to break this to Lois? If she finds out I got fired for drinking, she's going to blame me. Lie to her. It's okay to lie to women. They're not people like us. Uh, I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Come on, you bastard. I'm late for work. Oh, 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 this is perfect. Mayor West, after working with you for some time now, I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely right. Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface. My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. And well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Mayor West, there's something you need to see. My God, my wife is seeing another mayor. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be, because I'm going to win her back. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer down! Ah, crap, it's busted. And I bet it's completely traumatized. I wasn't traumatized, actually. It was planned. Part of the games we play. I've been a bad drone. Hey, you guys notice how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh! Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no. Sup, man? Yeah, yeah, sup. Keep walking, you boondocks ripoff. I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of good friends. Yeah, and not fake friends, like guys whose wives are friends. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get me that recipe. Oh my god, the cookbook? It's right in the kitchen. Sports? No. Movies? No. Hiking? No. Cars? No. Porn? porn? Yes! Gay porn? No. All right, everyone, because today is Christmas Eve, not yet, Griffin, I thought it might be a nice treat to... Griffin! Thank you. To let everyone leave a little bit early. Christmas! Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. Ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school, either. I even failed homeroom. Peter Griffin? There. By Europe. Fuck you! Fuck the both of you! I didn't say anything. Oh, thanks, Brian. This is a bunch of shit! Okay, you know what, Mort? Shut up! <laughs>
All right, just shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit about you. You know, we can just leave you here. Yeah, right, just leave me here. That's great. We're in occupied Europe, and if you haven't noticed, I'm Jewish. Oh, I noticed. Helen Keller would notice. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat my ass, Brian. Don't you mean your ass neck? Shut up. That's a real thing. I'm... Don't you look pretty today? Thanks, Mom. She's going to ask you for something. So listen, I was wondering, do you think you could take Stewie to a birthday party today? The birthday boy was premature, so he looks like a 12-inch tall Rachel Dretch. Why can't you do it, Mom? Uh, I can't take another party with that trio of judgy sitcom moms. <laughs> oh, hi, Lois. Gosh, I just love how you always look so comfortable. I know. Are those pajamas? And I'm the black one for unrealistic diversity. Yeah, that was me. I was the one who threw up in a sink. Get back here! Damn it! God! <laughs> ah, dang it! Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois and Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up! We don't need you in this town. Ow, ow. Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnancy. Softball sign up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Oh. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the. Uh oh! Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bet. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here it goes! Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I set it... Ah, we're all gonna die! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come, join us. Oh, okay. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. <laughs> you run like a girl. Run like a man, you get a suit. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Howard, I have found you! Yeah. Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? 
quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. Oh, great! I'm gonna get killed by a cat! He'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven! <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! How'd you guys die? We bit kids! Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. All right, Jesus, these speed date nights are the best way to meet a lot of chicks fast. Now go get them. So where do you live? Everywhere. All places. Hopefully inside you. This is kind of embarrassing, but are you okay with someone who smokes? Oh, yeah. Are, are you okay with someone who wanders the desert lecturing people on how to act? So are you having a good Friday? Oh, is that supposed to be funny? Shut your mouth, bitch. How's the wine? It's terrific. That's my blood, you know. Where are you from? Israel. Oh my god, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven we'd all get iPhones, but he never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> look at your faces! Of course it's the dude, come on, let's go. Calm down, ma'am, it's all under control. I've got a whistle, a cloth helmet, a key to a coal box, a soft rubber truncheon, and a map of the city. Please, hurry! Well, I don't much like your tone. That's a tiny pencil and pad citation for you! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and this is News... Oh, I thought you were gonna sing with me, Joyce. Okay. Our top story tonight, the Rhode Island State Lottery has climbed to a record $150 million jackpot. That's right, Tom. Powerball fever has officially gripped Quahog. We sent Channel 5 News Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa around town to get the public reaction. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? Quite BMW! Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa! Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes! Okay, I'm sorry, what happened? She has my vaporizer! You have to get it back! <laughs> That's your problem! You lost your vape pen, I didn't lose mine! Well, I guess you win. Tastes so good, like skin berries. I'm alive with pleasure! It's possible we've taken this too far. I'll just go down and get yours back. I will never forget this day. God, I can't kill Brian, even for Penelope. He's my dog, my friend. Well, wonder what words are gonna come out of this pen today. All right, I can do this. My 
kidding. I can't do this. Achoo. Hey, I got a lot on my plate, man. I'm learning to use the toilet. I'm learning what shapes are. I, I spent half an hour laughing at my own feet yesterday. Yeah, you're, you're losing it, man. You're losing your edge. Well, I don't care for your tone, and I'd say you deserve a good kick of... <laughs> look, look at them. Now, if I could just find someone to wear this hero hat. <gasps> I think I found him. Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. Oh, that's perfect, Brian. We have to go down there this weekend and heckle her roundly. I'll humiliate her worse than Luke Skywalker did to that rebel pilot. The exhaust shaft is only two meters wide, so you'll have to use proton torpedoes. Well, that's impossible, even for a computer. It's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. Hey, uh, can I, can I, can I talk to you privately for a second? Sure. That, 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 uh, that was, that was unnecessary. What's the problem? Well, you, you just kind of called me out in front of everybody back there. I, mean, I was what, just making a point. I know, I know, but you, like, just kind of sandbagged me oh, in front of everyone oh, we know. sandbagged you? In front of all of our friends, yeah, you sandbagged me. I sandbagged you. You sandbagged me, well, yes. Well, here I am trying to help you, you with you know something what, you know that... What? You know what, I don't need your kind of help, all right? Have a great assault, jerk. That makes you Jewish, Lois. And your children, too. Oh, this kind of rocks my world. Even more than the time I went to that pediatrician. Whoa, Stewie! You're getting to be a big boy! I think somebody's gonna be a football star! Oh, you! Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason! You're getting to be a big boy! I think somebody's gonna be a football star! I can't believe I fell for that line! I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. Lois? Peter? Zod? Hey, you're parked behind my trapezoid thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll move it in a sec. Glenn, all this nonsense has to stop now. The only reason this became an issue is because Peter heard something he wasn't supposed to hear. Guy from Superman lives here? She said yes. My God, I'm cooler than that cheetah from the commercials. God, there is no drummer better than Neil Peart! It ain't easy being cheesy. Well, wait a minute, Peter. Maybe that's the answer. You just gotta get his mother to take him back. How the hell am I supposed to do that? She's an idiot redneck, Peter. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. You can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe it. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Face it, Peter. You're addicted to television. And you're not exactly Mr. Cold Turkey, either. Remember that time you tried to give up candy? I'll ask you one more time. Are you sure you didn't eat anything in my factory? No. I'm just asking. What are you calling me a liar? No, I'm just saying. Hey, shut up, Wonka. Look, th this has gotten out of hand. I know. I, I, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but you can put an end to this right now by tearing up that gay marriage ban. You won't break me. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> a wall. Well, no matter. I'm prepared for a lengthy captivity as well. I swallowed this People magazine in 1989. All right, Paul Hogan, 
Tell me about the real Crocodile Dundee. Okay, Peter, I'm off to my book club. You'll babysit Stewie? Only if I can have a popsicle. Only if you say it right. Popsicle. Good. And you better be responsible tonight. I don't want a repeat of the last time I left you alone with one of our children. <gasps> it's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. I was kind of right. You're kidding. I do that, too. But what are these formulas for? For these. <gasps> oh, my God. You've got a weapons room, too? And look at the size of it. It's amazing. Yes, although sometimes I think it's too big. It takes the cleaning woman forever to clean it. Oh, it's already broken. No drugs. She's good. He's clean. Well, looks like that's it, except for the flight crew. <laughs> hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? <laughs> You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! Oh, I know you're tired, Stewie, but you can sleep all you want in the car. Ugh, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey, that was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and still 27 centigrade out there. Ooh, that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the heavy desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shaleb Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, the Hach. <laughs> Mom, why do I have to take a bath with Stewie? Because, Meg, Estelle told me that someone in the family was in danger of drowning and that I should take some steps to prevent it. So from now on, everybody has a bath buddy. Hey, Meg, watch. <laughs> wow, I have so much clarity now. I know how I'm going to move on. I have to kill Chris and Rupert right away. I guess that means I'll miss that taping of Deepak Chopra Winfrey. Everyone, check your seats. You get diarrhea, and you get diarrhea, and you get diarrhea. Everyone's getting diarrhea. All right, Griffin, you're clearly a smoker. Enjoy your break. Wow, I can use smoking to get out of anything. Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine! More women! More table! <laughs> ah, I'm having a heart attack! Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am! Come here! Hurry! Run! But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Oh, I've got to do something. Jasper's always been there for me when I've needed him. I am going to make Mayor West change his mind. But, Brian, the Bible says gay marriage is an abomination. Oh, don't give me that young Republican crap, Chris. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. Hey. Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the f overboard. Hey, did you see those pictures of me doing duck lips by a pool? I don't know, some island. Shh. You rebel scum. <laughs> yeah, you're too young, you don't know. We now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day, every day for the last three years. Oh my God, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. He's a little cranky from teething. Oh, I can fix that. 
No, oh, good God, man! One can only imagine what foul regions that finger has erstwhile probed. There you go. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts! <laughs> Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? We're undercover U.S. agents in a hostile foreign territory. We just gotta make sure we don't do anything that makes us stick out. Hey, they're not bears on unicycles! You are under arrest! Oh, time to lose this costume. <laughs> Cause we're in Russia! You going fishing again? Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not-at-all-memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Well, first let me thank you for answering the ad. Now, what do you feel qualifies you to be an effective babysitter for Stewie? A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah, uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um, no Portuguese. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What are you, crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. Come on, you guys. I'm going to buy us the most expensive meal we've ever had. Yeah, uh, I'd like 6,000 chicken fajitas, please. I beg your pardon? Uh, 6,000 chicken fajitas. And a sausage McBiscuit, please. We gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. The Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. You won't be hurting anyone anymore. I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Peter, you're going to Meg's play, and that's that. Is that that now, Mrs. That's That? If you're gonna shoot me, you might want to tie your shoelaces first. Ah! Now, are you gonna go to Meg's play or not? Yes! You like eating red carpet, tough guy? Yes! Say you like eating red carpet! I like eating red carpet! Giggity.
Mom, can we go back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Well, I guess if Brian gets sick again... Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <laughs> Brian's sick! Mom, get your keys! No offense, but you two just don't have that talent. Are you kidding? I can be very persuasive. That's how I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. Oh, damn it. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Uh, I haven't been this... Uh, since I... Uh, I, I don't... I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but... Oh, there's track star Wilma Rudolph. Obviously, she had something to do with the gag, but I didn't hear the setup, so I don't really know the, the context. Hey, I wonder what Peter's up to. Do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. Meg, could you come here, please? What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Looks fine to me, ma'am. Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. <laughs> I stole Meg's cutaway. Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. I think it's great, Glenn. And people really seem to be enjoying themselves. Boy, if I could clean myself with my tongue, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's like if I had nine lives, maybe I'd finally find a man. <laughs> You's joining me. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. So I'm through listening to you. Fine. Think what you want, aging supermodel Carol Alt. Carol, come in here. They're saying your name on the family man. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? I forget. Oh, I wonder how your father's first day at work went. Dad? What the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, I have a triple cheeseburger and a large fries, and, uh, you sell pants. Hey, Meg, what's with all the beer cans? Oh, my dad got a job at the brewery, and he gets lots of free beer. Actually, he's kind of been going overboard lately. Oh, my God. Hey, Meg, <laughs> you see my pants? <gasps> Oh, Lois, by the way, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> well, Lois, I gotta say, it's great to have you home from prison. Uh, it's great to be home. Hey, I gotta ask, are you gonna stay that jacked forever? I don't know. Do you like it? I, I, I do, and I don't, you know? It, 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 was, it was nice being held up against a wall, but when you made me suck the hairdryer, I, I, I enjoyed it. I did, but I, I, I don't want to do that specific thing again. Well, that's too bad, because I'm ready for round two. Just got to make sure the kids don't come in. <laughs> now no one can get in, and no one can get out. Hands on the headboard, Chief. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Guess I'm just going to have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Ah, ah, God's the weasel. Peter, you've got to stop living in your own stupid world. I'm sorry, but I can't be with someone who doesn't believe in Jesus. 
Hey, hey, you heard my name. Wow, Jesus. Oh, you're dead now, Lois. Jesus is going to kill you. And then we're going to bury you in a yard next to Kathy Island. I, 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 I mean, I, I mean, nice weather we're having. Look, Peter, I thought it might interest you to know that I'm Jewish. What? He's Jewish, Peter. Jewish, like full on, like you practice Jewism? I am a Jew. Prove it. What's a 9% tip on a $200 bill? $18, which is fair. Oh, my God, it's true. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois, I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me! Oh, now I'm sad. We can't do that. Don't you know a lot of discarded electronics end up in the ocean and kill sea turtles? Well, then, let's cut out the middleman. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. I should warn you, I have a tiny bulletproof shield the exact size of a bullet somewhere on my body. And if you hit it, I'll be unharmed and your plan will be foiled. You'll be the laughing stock of me. I don't want to shoot you, Mayor West. Good, because I'm incredibly crafty. Hey, what's that on the ceiling? Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm over here. <laughs> Hey, uh, don't tell Mom that we don't use car seats with me. Unhand me! What do you think you're doing? Okay, Stewie, you're gonna help Daddy by holding his iPad while he watches season one of House of Cards. Where was the house? Where was the house of cards? All right, Stewie, time to go. Whoa, whoa, a little wobbly. Guess my legs fell asleep. Ah! Ah! Stewie, Daddy can't feel his legs. Go get help. I'm hanging from a door, you idiot. ...in Quahog, and it's made everything just so great. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's, let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a blacky weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Holy crap, a hundred bucks! Hey, nice going, Chris! Wow, look how proud my dad is! Oh my god, a duck! It was a trap! <laughs> <laughs> How do you think it works? I have no idea. Look, Lois told me I had to start using the toilet, and you're the one who's had potty training, so I'm counting on you to help me. All right, we're two intelligent guys. We can figure this out. What's that big back part? Maybe that's where the wizard lives who operates this thing. It would be wise not to anger him. I wonder what this thing is for. Brian, be careful with that. We don't know what it does. <sighs> All right, here goes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful, 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 careful. <laughs> And I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. Hey, Brian, uh, another categories question. The category is type of pet. Herbert put Cambodian. That's not right, right? Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk. It's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist.
Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? You have a different view, Brian? Oh, I, I don't know. Are we, are we allowed to have a different view? Brian, AA is the only way out for these people. Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Here's your Star Wars kids meal. Which action figures did we get? I got Kylo Ren. I got the role during the two months I was a hot actor, and now they're stuck with me. I got Forrest Whitaker. Even as a toy, you can't tell where he's looking. I wish I had the poorly cast Kylo Ren. Here, Stewie. You can have mine. You're giving me the better one? Why would you do that? Because you're my friend. Yes. You're my friend. You're my best friend. Let's choke on these together. <coughs> that was fun. Let's switch. Hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? It was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Uh, you know, I've got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. I don't get it! What is this? We don't know either. All right, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Lois, before you start yelling, let me remind you that you were the one who recklessly drove into oncoming crap. It was inexcusable, Peter, and Stewie may never be able to ride in the car again. Turn off the windshield wipers. They don't work. They're just making it worse. Stewie promised he'd make healthy meals for us, but all he ever makes is frozen pizza. You said you loved pizza, especially when I make the ones with the crust made of wheat. He also does that. Oh, boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <sighs> That's it, I'm going to numb. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just gonna drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, bye, juice! <laughs> that was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, methamphetamine is flooding into Quahog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Guys, I have an announcement. I'm gonna run for mayor. That's a terrible idea. You idiot, Brian. Meg, fat on Brian. I can't. I don't have one in the chamber. And one time I give you a chance, you're not ready. Chris, tag in for Meg. 
<laughs> See that kid? He's a gamer. Great job, Chris. Now go hit the showers. Meg, you miss 100% of the farts you don't take. That kid's going places. He's going all the way. If only they knew. Yeah, it's my boy. Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about, you know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Unless... All right, what this is has no name, so you can't have it. <laughs> we got him. Halloween is fun. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. We now return to the Awkward Stepdad Show. Man, your mom's a real groaner. Do you hear that in your room? Hey, what's with the stairs? Why do they look different? Oh, I'm trying to prove that Peter's the one cussing in the house, so I waxed the staircase for him to fall down. Hey, Lois, have you seen my Spider-Man socks? I can't seem to... Ouch! Oh, heavens! Oh, goodness gracious! That smarts! Oh, my! He dead! Well, I'll be! Yikes! Peter, when did you become so polite? Oh, I've been hanging out with Caillou's beta dad. In fact, I'm meeting him at the park to eat unsalted saltines on the swings. I feel like you're wearing what Rachel Maddow would wear to a pumpkin patch. I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Have I told you that we're all friends again? Yes, Peter. We were just talking about it. You're going to take me to the zoo and roll me around. You know, we're all friends again. It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know, I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Uh, you're gonna start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me, I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It's that pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. Oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. You'll never have to wear a... Yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. This is what rednecks watch, Brian. Peter, that's disgusting. Here, spit in this cup instead. Oh, there's my apple juice. Stewie, wait, don't... Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Ah, uh, never mind. Name Striker Fox. Oh, Lois just texted, burgers or meatballs for dinner? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch, just different shapes.
Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Yes, I'll take this teddy bear, this ruler, this piece of string, and this cardboard box. Mmm. Why are you walking so slowly? Turns out this costume is about 80% balls, and most of it's dragging behind me. Uh, uh, we got a tangle. Oh, what do I do? Stop walking. I'll go back, you go forward. Are you sure? It's counterintuitive. I don't know, that, that doesn't seem right to me. When you want to go left, you go right. I'm just going to pull forward. Don't pull, don't pull. I, I think just if you come this way and, and I go that way. Everybody freeze. Okay, let's just think about this. Hey, wait, wait, guys. Well, it's just me and my old nemesis. First step. <laughs> hey, Joe, what you doing? You out for a walk? I hate this block. Yeah, but Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... This, uh, better... I don't know. Here's a list of celebrities I don't like. I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Death Games. Oh my god, this has been a 12 minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? Maybe I come around this side. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I come around this no, side. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I climb over top. No, 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 no. You need help building more fence? Okay, come on over. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> yes! Yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey... Oh, no! <laughs> wow! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we gonna find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps him next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. <laughs> 
I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, yeah, I got it.